beginners, today we're going to do a series of footwork. We're going to have six exercises and I want you to do these exercises for 10 minutes straight with two minute water breaks. The first exercise is what we call at Southside Roller Derby, sticky feet. Um, so we're going to start with sticky feet. Roll back. All you need is about 12 to 8 feet of space. I'm not sure how much space I have. This is where my boyfriend's truck goes. So this is about the space of a parking spot. So um, you need about this much space. If you don't, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm sure in times like this, you can figure out or create a space. If you have a garage that's full of stuff, get rid of stuff, move stuff around, get like, build your space so you can practice. Um, all right, so let's start with sticky feet. Sticky feet is a skill assessment that we have to pass to be able to move on to our um, intermediate class. So you're gonna start here at your cone or whatever your cone is. Um, uh, so you'll start here, you're a little wider than shoulder width apart and you're gonna step together, step out a little wider than shoulder width and out. And this is sticky feet. And when you get over here, I want you to lunge and reach outside of your body's axis. All right? And touch. All right? No doing this. Not doing a squat. We're lunging out because in real life, this is going to prepare your body to be able to do stuff like this. And that's called juking. So it's all getting you prepped to be able to do actual roller derby maneuvers. This may not seem like it's a roller derby at all, but it's just a basic footwork to get you there. All right, and you're going to do this for 10 minutes straight. So find your favorite song and get to go. You'll start out slow like this. You may even be rolling rolling it's because you're putting your foot down this way taking off so if you put your foot down that way you're gonna roll so we do not want you to roll we want you to stay sticky feet stay on the floor no rolling so you're going to set your foot out straight and straight and you won't roll all right if you're rolling backwards you just need to figure out your body placement and you'll start to get the hang of where your body needs to be. So, all right, um, and once you get past beginner phase, your sticky feet will start looking like this. A little gallop. All right, so once you're there, your sticky feet will pick up to something more advanced like this. to your favorite song and I will be here waiting for you and pause me okay you're back I hope you listen to some great songs um, our next drill is called grape vine and this is one of the hardest roller derby footwork moves Everyone struggles with it and it crushes souls. But learn this, figure it out, um, because this move keeps you from falling more than any other footwork move. Um, it's, it's just going to save your life. You won't even really understand it, but um, it's just the different ways your feet can move when you're being jostled around in the pack or trying not to fall. All right, sticky, um, great point is a universal sports move, we all do it in all sports, but we're doing it with roller skates on our feet. So you're going to squat and you're going to, I like to just start with the cross behind because it's the hardest thing. So you're going to cross behind and this is the hardest thing. So if you are struggling with cross behind, I want you to just start with this. Out, out, 
in, I mean out, and cross, out, and cross, all right, don't tell me your thighs are too big or your knee pads are too big, you can do this, you just need to figure out your quads and your hamstrings kissing back here and your knee pads, all right, so cross, out, cross, out, cross, out, and make sure you're actually planting this foot down. Plant, plant, plant it down, plant it down, plant it down. If you're doing this, it's, that's, it's not gonna prepare you for all the different things that your feet can do when you're getting jostled. So, um, also, do not put your feet down like this. All right, There's, there is probably 90% of derby girls will not do this naturally. You are going to want to open up and keep your knees and your thighs from touching. Stop that. Embrace your quads and your hamstrings. They should be spooning right here. All right, you should feel the squeeze. All right, so if you're stuck here, I want you to do this for 10 minutes. Five minutes this foot, five minutes this foot. All right, and when you are ready, you can do the easy part, which is cross behind, step out, cross in front. Touch. Ooh, I don't have enough room for it. Oops, I crossed in front. Cross behind, get it out of the way, out in front, out and touch. All right, so this for 10 minutes. Listen to your favorite song. It's great fun. It's great. A great. All right, do this for 10 minutes and pause me. I'll be here waiting for you for exercise number three. All right, you're back. We're gonna do exercise number three. Number three is plow stops. Plow stops are, of course, the, the all, the, 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 the best, most effective way to slow down and block at the same time. And, um, and it's, just a, it's just a wonderful move and it's very hard to master. It's very awkward. It's, it's, it's gonna be your toughest stop. So, but once you get it, you will enjoy roller derby. Your teammates will enjoy having you on their team. And it's just very valuable to be able to master this, this, um, this stop and you will not get out of our intermediate class until it's mastered. But with this drill and this deliberate practice, you will master it in at least four days. If you do this religiously, three days a week, I promise you, you will be doing it in four days. All right, so start to cone, plow. Um, we're, let's start with a beginner plow. So beginner plow, you're just gonna stand shoulder um, double shoulder width apart. I'm sorry. We're going to stand shoulder width apart and we're going to roll out to double shoulder. Here. All right. And when you get here, your feet are naturally going to want to come in and your heels are going to want to come out and it's going to create this. All right. So it's kind of like um, I explained it like um, when Dorothy wants to go home, she clips. She clips her her heels, but in able to, to, to click the heels, she has to flip her heels out to click. So just think, flip your heels out at the end of that plow, and you will do the stop. So I'm here, shoulder width. I'm rolling out double shoulder width, and I'm gonna flick my heels out. And I stopped, all right? So if that helps, do it that way. There's other ways to do that, um, that that it can be explained, but this seems to help um, with most people. All right, so we're going to roll out and flip. Good, 
All right, and so now that creates a rocking back and forth motion. So here we go. We're going to roll out and flip and back and roll out, flip, back, roll out, flip, back. All right, so if you're stuck there, do that for 10 minutes. Um, if you are ready to do the plow drill, it looks like this. So you get it to your cone, and for 10 minutes, you're just gonna go back and forth. Stop, touch the ground, turn around. Touch the ground, turn around. Touch the ground, turn around. And turn. And do that for 10 minutes. Listen to your favorite song and I will be right here waiting for you for exercise number four. Hi, you're back. Let's get started with exercise number four. We've brought, so far we've done our sticky feet. We've done our great friends and our first amazing stop that everybody is going to love you for, the plow stop. Um, now we're going to do turnaround stops. Turnaround stops are super easy. They may seem hard, but they're not. You do all kinds of turnarounds all day on your feet. So this move is nothing. So to start with turnaround stops, you are going to be Facing, let's say we're going forward and we want to be backwards, right? So here I am looking backwards, all right? You're going to look backwards with your upper body first before you do anything with your lower body, okay? So I'm, I'm skating forward. Now I wanna be backwards. So I'm gonna turn my upper body and leave my lower body facing forward. I am securely backwards with my upper body, right? And, and I don't mean do this. That's not backwards. I want you to completely turn your shoulders and have one shoulder completely facing the way you want to go. So I am here. Now I'm going to open the book, close the book. Now I'm backwards. All right, so let's do that again. Roll, look, open, close. Um, also, um, skaters like to go with the wrong foot first. So what I like to do is have you smack that leg. You're gonna turn with this leg, not, not this one. That's gonna be a different turn and it's a lot more advanced do this one first. So we're going to smack this leg, it's stinging now. So I'm going to remember, pick up my leg that's stinging. Okay, so I am looking backwards. Open the book, close the book. And now I'm backwards. All right, let's do it again. Smack that leg, it's stinging. Look, open the book. Close the book. And the reason why I emphasize so much on smacking this leg is because this is typically what happens. They try to pick up this foot first and that does not create a smooth transition. It creates basically a U-turn and you don't want that. Because I'm not going backwards now, I'm going towards you. So I want this turn to look like this. We can do our turn around toe stops. So if you're stuck here, I want you to just do this for 10 minutes and get used to going uh, facing different directions. So I'm here, look, turn, look, turn, look, turn, look, turn, look, turn. 10 minutes of that. If you're past that, I want you to go to the cones and do your turnaround stops. So I want you to focus on skating on one foot turning and being backwards, right? One foot, turn backwards. If 
you're still stuck here, skating on two feet, then turning them backwards, that's fine, but I want you to work up to one foot skating and planting it down and turning, okay? So it should look like this eventually. Exercise number five. Let's do it. This one is called squat jumps. We're going to do some squat jumps. So, um, beginners, if you're scared of falling, let's go to the grass or carpet or something that's fluffy and that will hold you in place. But squat jumps, um, and we're not going to do them for 10 minutes. We're just going to do 50 of them, and you can break it up into um, sets, um, clock 10, rest, 10, rest, do 50 of them though, um, and or do them all at once. Anyway, so a squat jump is like this in roller skating. So you're going to start here, and when you're in the air, you're going to be in a T, and it's going to be right underneath your breast, okay, or chest. So, T here, all right? So you're here, in the air, two, and landing three. So one and three are here, in the air, two is here. And it looks like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, um, some things that can go wrong, horribly wrong, is you can do this, and two, we don't want to come down, we want to come up, all right? We're going to lift ourselves up. This jump is just to start um, getting ready for rotation jumps. This jump is not to clear something. So if you were going to clear something, you would, you would lean back and try to jump up like that. But we're staying tight and in because eventually you're going to, you know, do, do 180s. Oh wait, that was a 360. Um, but one of these. So, um, so here we go. Squat jump. Give me 50 of them. And I will be here waiting for you for exercise number six. <sighs> Burning calories. So far I've burned 208 calories. All right, hey, exercise number six. Here we go. So you just did your one, your, your, your squat jump. Now we're gonna do the 180. If you're not ready for the 180, then stay on that squat jump. Same thing, 180, we're gonna do 50 of them. You can break it up into two sets, um, five sets of 10 and uh, this jump is gonna just help you get ready for, for rotating, jumping apexes, um, and turning, all the things, um, any kind of rotation, um, leaving the air rotation movement. Oh, skitty. Okay, so here we go, I'm out of breath. We're gonna do the 180. So remember, if you're a beginner, you're gonna want to do the look first. So look and switch your hips. All right, this should be a lot easier for some people because you just get to take both feet with you and get to where you need to be. So um, hopefully this one's fun. So here we go, look, turn. And I want you to reset, okay? I don't want this to be happening. All right, there's reasons for it. 
And the reason why is because we're training for roller derby, okay? So like in real life, if you need to be this way, you're gonna wanna reset back the other way, okay? You're not gonna be doing this in a game. All right, so I want you to reset properly. So it's gonna look like this. Reset. 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 If you're still not sure about the rotation, look, turn, reset. Look, turn, reset. And then if you wanna be amazing and, and turn both ways, do five one way, five the other way. And if you've advanced or have got this and you're kind of ready to move on, I want you to do this. And remember on this, it's a, again, I'm not really doing it full out. Uh, I should be, but one, two, one, all right? All right, it's just safer to do those, the one, two, three motion until you're really, really good and comfortable with this um, because this keeps you all centered and it makes it to where if you fall, it doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> That. but if you're all over the place when you're turning you just don't know how you're gonna fall and usually it's like on your hip or your shoulder where we don't have pads so stay low do your one two three on the spell all right was that exercise number six i think we're done thanks for doing your stuff keep doing this stuff because whenever we get through all this mess you'll come back and you'll have amazing footwork and your body will do what it wants to do to execute strategy um, when you start playing roller derby. Thank you. Come again to Southside Roller Derby's online school.